Growing up in Southern California, I was lucky enough to have one of the last remaining skate parks near my house. It was my home away from home, and I finally found something that I loved and that I could focus on. I was thankful to have that community and that facility to bounce ideas off of and to have a sense of belonging. So by the end of the 1980s, all the skate parks had closed down due to insurance and other problems. We had to find our own way to skate. We had to build our own ramps and take to the streets, which millions of kids did. With all the success I was having, I felt the need to do something about that. Use my influence and my voice to help build skate parks for the skaters. And I wanted to make sure that the skaters were involved in the process and that the communities that really deserved the parks were the ones getting the funding. In 2002, I started the Tony Hawk Foundation to provide community groups and city officials with a resource to how to get skate parks built correctly. And at the same time, I wanted to provide low-income communities a chance to get funding for their own facilities. The Tony Hawk Foundation helps develop free, quality, public skate parks in areas where kids need them most. Places where youth are particularly at risk and where there are few opportunities for healthy, constructive recreation. Through our technical assistance program, Foundation staff respond to over 400 inquiries each month from local officials. They seek guidance on where to start and what it takes to build a skate park correctly, one that the skaters will actually ride. Our grant program addresses the critical need for funding skate parks in the most challenged communities across the U.S. To date, we have awarded $3.2 million to 463 skate park projects. With our support, these skate parks have attracted more than $60 million in additional leverage donations, making the Tony Hawk Foundation's grant program one of the most effective grassroots fundraising models today. With over 360 of these open and operating, more than 3 million youth annually use skate parks that the Tony Hawk Foundation helped to fund. Skate parks provide these youth with a safe place to go, away from gangs, away from drugs, and off the streets where they're at far greater risk of injury. Skate parks also create communities of like-minded individuals where there are others who share an incredible passion for skating. Skate parks are the venues that ensure that these kids have a place to go, to be safe, to form friendships, to have a sense of community, and a sense of belonging. Every day, we work to spread the gift of skateboarding and the benefits of skate parks to kids all across the U.S. Please join me in supporting the creation of a skate park in a unique community in Long Beach, California. Way tonight into a deadly officer-involved shooting in Long Beach. Police now believe that gang members shot at the 15-year-old... 16-year-old girl gunned down following a football game in Long Beach. No doubt about it, Long Beach is a tough town, you know, tough city to grow up in. It's kind of rough, shootings, people getting robbed at school, walking from school, going home. I was sometimes scared to come out of my house because shootings down the block. A couple months back, me and my friends, we got robbed. Like, they pulled out a gun on us. It's not really good because anything could happen. Poly neighborhood is seriously deprived of recreational activities for kids. There's a lot of low-income families, there's a lot of gangs, a lot of street violence in this neighborhood. I can tell you coming from a place like Long Beach, throughout the inner city, it's very limited. So much stuff you can do. You know, you either got your sports at high school, and if outside of that, you know, it's gang violence, drug selling, and a lot of negativity that's just going around in that area. You know, this is a very, very diverse city, and there's no relating going on. But I noticed over the last five years, there was more and more kids skating all around town, together from all different backgrounds. Now I see it huge. I mean, people did their thing, but now that I see it now, it's way more bigger than it was. It helped me take my focus away from what was going on in my neighborhood. I was around a different crowd of people, everybody just having fun, everybody having a passion for this just one thing, which is skateboarding. What I like about it is that you can do anything. I love it. I love skating. The energy in you, when you land a trick, it's like, you feel so good, you feel so relieved. Basically, just never give up. Never give up. Try, try, try. When you start something, you gotta finish it. The physical demands of being a good skateboarder are such that you don't wanna go down the avenue of drugs. You wanna stay out of games. You wanna be an athlete. I'm not gonna tell you what, this was a bad area over here, and thank God they're gonna put something here to change it for these kids. Because personally, one of my skaters did get shot over this way. Imagine finding the thing in your life that matters most to you, that you value, that's meaningful. It gives you real purpose in your life. Imagine finding that thing. Not everyone ever finds it. 
but people do find it. And for a lot of us, it's called skateboarding. So imagine you find that, and then you feel like the whole world is against you, because it is. But then the city you live in steps up and builds a skate park and then facilitates you. Imagine what a great feeling that would be. We get to pay now, we're gonna pay later. What would be better than paying now and helping our little kids enjoy themselves, having a good time, instead of out there breaking in or robbing someone? This is what we would want to put all our money and our efforts into because it is our future. I think that the money spent on skate parks is beyond worth the cost because you build it and you walk away from it and it saves lives. There's a lot of need over there. They need a place to go ride, let loose, and have fun. Any kind of contribution, any help with getting this park built, it's a good thing, and it's gonna go a long way for these kids and these communities. Step up and donate. By doing that, we'll save a lot of kids' lives and it'll push them in the right direction.